Okay, how's it going everyone? This is Kane here, and this is Project Blue. Today we're going to be covering the care of a Jack Dempsey, which is a good start to achieving your electric blues. Check it out. So a good place to start is the name, Jack Dempsey. Heard that name before? Maybe it's because he was an American heavyweight champion boxer in the 1920s. 25 knockouts in the first round. Just like the boxer, this fish also packs a punch. The Jack Dempsey is a very aggressive fish. I'd only recommend putting this fish in with other aggressive cichlids. I've currently got my Jack Dempsey in with a bunch of African cichlids. Now I'm not recommending this on a care video. If you're a beginner to the hobby it's probably better you keep to the same kind of fish. But this does work for me. The main thing though is be cautious. This fish is a very aggressive fish. If you're adding in tank mates or adding him to a tank be very cautious in the first couple of days, watch him because yeah he, he does pack a punch and it can cause a lot of trouble in your tank. Okay so let's talk about Jack Dempsey water conditions. Your temperature should be around 74. Mine sits between 74 and 76. The reason why it goes between 74 and 76 is because I'd rather the temperature go over that 74 number than under it. With breeding I'll go between 78 and 80 um, 78 to 82 is good though. The pH I sit mine at is around 7.2 to 7.6. The Jack Dempsey is a very hardy fish. He can go as low as the 6s and be good and go as high as about 8.0. The Jack Dempsey can grow to about 7 to 10 inches. 10 is probably on the higher scale but yeah, 7 to 10 inches, males obviously getting bigger, so these fish do need quite a bit of room. Um, the minimum size for one Jack MC, minimum for one, is 45 gallons, and the minimum size for two is about 55 gallons. Ideally though, you want to be looking at 75, and obviously anything over 75 is just great. But yeah, 45 minimum for one, and 55 minimum for a pair. Now when it comes to filtration these fish aren't as messy as an Oscar but they are messy you do need good filtration just remember that otherwise you'll be doing a lot of water changes to keep up with these fish. The Jack DMZ has a great personality but this fish is very misleading he will come across as timid and shy and will tend to hide away quite a bit. Now this fish doesn't hide because he's scared. He hides because he likes his own space. He likes to be sheltered. So be very cautious on this fish. Um, when it comes to the beginner, I would recommend this fish if you're planning to just have a Jack Dempsey or maybe a pair of Jack Dempseys. If you're adding them in with other tank mates though, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it is a lot of trial and error. Um, on another note, I'm starting a set of videos called Project Blue. This is my first episode. Um, it's all about breeding Jack Dempsey's to get the electric blue Jack Dempsey. I've got a breeding pair as you can see, my blue Jack Dempsey and I've got a female blue jean Jack Dempsey. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe because I'll be bringing more videos and going through the whole process of the breeding for them. And yeah. Thank you for watching.